What's up, everybody? This is Happy to Game, and welcome back to another Scav episode here. Uh, today we're gonna be in the reserve map, and we're gonna kind of go over my mindset and my thoughts about uh, running Scav in the reserve map. So right away here, the first thing you want to check is the timer. So 23 minutes uh, into the raid, uh, reserve time timer is about 45 minutes in duration so we're currently about halfway through uh, quickly checked my kit and my kit was you know below average uh, I had no armor my helmet is okay the AKM is probably the good thing in this uh, in this kit the problem is that it's missing a dust cover um, and the ammo was a uh, T45M which is not very good so the great thing about this kit was pretty much just the scav backpack really I also knew where I was spawning in I spawned nearby a uh, hole in the wall by the fence uh, and because of this I knew exactly where I was going to loot first and essentially the goal because of uh, my situation my kit and location I wanted to the goal should be just filling up my backpack and then just getting out I'm gonna do my best uh, in this situation to try and avoid PvP if possible and to just see how much I can make out of this out of this raid So the closest, quote unquote, safest looting area for me was the school building. And the goal here is to hit up all the filing cabinets, duffel bags, uh, weapons crates, if any were, weren't looted already. And then once I finish looting pretty much everything that I possibly could in the school building, um, you're gonna notice that I kind of go out here into the back uh, to kind of the side of the school building, which was kind of like a medical uh, area. And just again, um, try to see if there's anything valuable there.
and then once my bags and pockets were all full I went straight to my closest possible extract which was heating pipes So here I've already moved everything from my scav uh, character into my stash and I put everything into the bottom right corner um, and you're going to see that I'm selling pretty much everything that I have here uh, in the flea market. Uh, in the flea market you can only do three, you can only put up three things essentially in the flea market so I try my best to sell everything at uh, kind of at the cheapest price uh, that's available currently in the flea market just so that I can sell it quickly uh, this way I also get a little bit more value than me just trading it to the dealers and then whenever I do hit my maximum three offers and I can't put anything else up for auction I will start selling things to the dealers and traders until more offer slots open up so I'm just gonna quickly do some selling and uh, we'll get to the total so after all the selling, we were able to come out of that scav run making two hundred and seventy one thousand five hundred and seventy six ruples. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you all again next time. Bye now.